Sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again with another of my Louisville Colonels seasonal games. Now, if you remember before, I taken the, the uh, Louisville Colonels in out of the park 21, and I was going to see how I could do with them. They were a terrible team in real life in 1896, and in real life. They were 38 and 102, I believe. I finished one game better than that at 39 and 101 in season number one. I did a lot of quick playing. I put in my, my own personal managerial parameters, and I did a lot of quick playing because I knew I was in for a very bad season. And I just wanted to get through that season, get on to the... Um, to the off season, see what happens, see if I got fired, which I did not. I'm still here. I'm still a Louisville Colonels manager for now. Uh, but our general manager did get fired and we hired a new general manager. So um, there is that. Um, <clears throat> let me see if we can check some of these messages. Um, there we go. So our new general manager is Mike Sullivan, and he says, welcome to the new season. I hope the off season has treated you well. This is also a reminder that your goal is to stay respectable on the field. Now, somehow I think Mike Sullivan has taken a few too many tokes from the crack pipe because we are still not going to be respectable on the field. I, he can hope for that, sure, but that's not going to happen. However, we did have a draft. <clears throat> there was a player draft, excuse me, and we did take Harry Steinfeld. Now, Harry Steinfeld, for you baseball historians out there, uh, it was an outfielder for the Chicago Cubs for many, many years. He had a good uh, career. He had a good long career, solid career. He's a good player. I don't think he made the Hall of Fame, uh, but he was a good player. Now, he is on our roster. I think I can play him, but I'm not going to right now because we are starting the 1897 season. And um, he, I looked him up in the uh, baseball encyclopedia, and his rookie year was 1898. So I am not going to play him right away. I'm going to take it easy with him. He may get into games throughout the season, but I'm not going to start him uh, because I don't want to ruin his potential. I don't know if the game would make that happen. So you really don't want to make, you know, ruin his potential or anything like that. So he, I'm going to bring him along slowly. Like I said, every once in a while in eight in the eighteen ninety seven season that we're currently in, I may play him every once in a while, but I'm not going to play him right away. <clears throat> uh, besides, that isn't it's not likely that Harry Steinfeld is going to turn me into a good team from being a bad one. So let's go look at uh, what we've got here: lineups and depth charts, and let's go to the lineup overview. If you look at this lineup, it's a lot like it was last year. Bid McPhee was on the team last year. Billy Klingman was on the team last year. Ed Hutchinson, Roger Connor, Deacon McGuire, Fielder Jones, <clears throat> Monty Cross, Charlie Abbey, and Bill Krieg were all on the team last year. Lineup versus righties, Klingman, McPhee, Connor, McGuire, Fielder Jones, Monty Cross. Now, Jack Sheridan is new. He's a new player, um, and we'll see how he does, but he's a right-handed batter, so I have him only in the lineup versus lefties. And since he's a new player, I didn't want to play him against everybody. If we look up Jack Sheridan, we can see that he... 
um, is a 45 in right field, a 45 defensive player, so he's not even very good in the outfield. His range is a 50, his air is a 50, his outfield arm is a 50, and he never, his personality never causes even a hint of trouble, which is nice. It's always nice to know that <laughs> from a player. But his contact is terrible. His gap power, you know, none of these are really, uh, you know, anything that says, yeah, this guy's going to be great. Plus, his potential is only a one. So, you know, he's a new player. Maybe that can increase, you know, throughout the, you know, in the game. But I got to get some new blood in there because... You know, you went, if we go back to the lineup again, uh, the lineup's overview, you can see nobody is new except Jack Sheridan. So that would bode pretty badly for the coming season. I also was informed by my scouting director, some of my older guys like Roger Connor and uh, Deacon McGuire have gotten a little worse. Monty Cross, he's gotten a little worse, particularly defensively. So, you know, it's not going to go well in season two. But we'll see if Mike Sullivan wants to stick with me throughout this season. We'll see how much his patience is taxed. Now, if we look at my, and so here we go, let's go look at my history. Last year, we were 39 and 101, like I said. We had a 283 team batting average, which isn't bad at all, but we had a 609 earned run average, which is. And I was, I only got a score of one from season one, which the computer was um, very uh, unapologetic about telling me is, is a bad score. Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. So, anyway. Um, so we were bad last year. Let's see what happens uh, this year. If we go to, let me see what happens here in the transaction history. Yeah, so we've got some, uh, yeah, draft pick, Treadwell, James Fox, Joseph Sayers. Welcome Gaston, he's a draft pick. Sher there you go, ja Jack Sheridan. So that's the guy I'm playing. He was a draft pick for us. And I guess, you know, the game, there's a lot of players that the game has to make up, especially for the 1890s. So there's ball player Fuller, ball player Jarvis, ball player Henniger. I'm not really happy about that, but I'll live with it. George Blackburn was a draft pick. Um, so let's see. There you go. Harry Steinfeld, our first pick. So, um, and we did trade, and another thing we did is we traded Harry Blake and Frank Eustace away. I'm not really happy about that, um, but like I said, I'm just the manager in this game. That's how I like to play it because I don't like messing with salaries and salary caps and the team losing money and, you know, having to make a trade that um, gets you some, you know, gets more funds for your um for the team. I don't like doing all that. That's just, I'm not good at it and I don't want to do it. So I just want to manage the team. Now, if we look at uh, available jobs, I could manage the Brooklyn Bridegrooms or the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles are in our league. The Bridegrooms are in the other league. So let's look at the Major League Baseball standings and you can see that. So you see the bridegrooms are over there, and uh, yeah, there's already been some games played. So when we're playing, we're opening against the Senators. So uh, the bridegrooms are 1-0. Maybe they're good. Who knows? But uh, anyway, we're, we've got a game against the Senators that we're ready to play, and I'm going to go in and do that. So you can see Amos Ruzi is on the mound for us. He was our clearly our best pitcher from last year. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like we're missing a position. Let me see. How are we missing a position? I put everybody in the lineup. All right, so we're missing, what are we missing? A third baseman. All right. Um, Klingman is a switch hitter. Um, 
I might say we would put him in. Yeah, we're not going to put in Harry Steinfeld yet. So I'm going to put in Klingman at third base. And now we should be ready to go. And here we are. <clears throat> we are up first because we're visiting the Senators. They have Clark Griffith pitching. If you know anything about Griffith, he later went on to become the owner of the Senators. So anyway, let's uh, get this game underway. Let's see if we can uh, win one to open the season instead of waiting until game like, I don't know what it was last year, nine or ten, something like that. So our first guy struck out. Billy Klingman is up. Billy Klingman is going to fly out, it looks like, unless there's an error. Now, remember, this is the 1890s when players played with, like, you know, the type of glove that you would wear to go out and shovel snow, if that. So um, they, there are a lot of errors made. All right, so we send Ruzi out to the mound. Hopefully he can get out of this inning. I have a problem with the first inning. My, the team just is terrible in the first inning. I mean, it was last year anyway. Let's see what happens here. You got Ducky Ducky J Holmes at first, and he can uh, he can fly. So let's do a little yeah, pitch out. Didn't work. We didn't catch him doing anything. That's going to be a deep fly, but it looks like the outfielder should be under it, and he is. Again, you don't want to trust that just because the guy is under it that he's going to uh oh come on he stole two bases on him all right now well, they're gonna get a run home looks like yeah he made the play but he's not gonna throw the guy out whoa he's out wow what a throw the dude dove for the ball and then got up and threw the guy out nice maybe that's uh, a harbinger of good luck for us so mcguire is out we got fielder jones up fielder jones last year was a rookie and he's a very he's a good player for us he is a oh he was out oh my god i thought he was going to be safe all right, so Griffith has a good one, two, three inning, just like he did in the first, I believe. So Ruzi goes back out there. Ruzi, like I said, was our only serviceable starter from last year. So we'll see what happens. Perry Worden is up. Never heard of Perry Worden, so. And there they rip it down the line. So they got another guy on. And Kid Gleason is up. Now, Kid Gleason, you might remember, if you're a baseball historian, was the manager of the 1919 White Sox. We're not going to get him there, right? No. So they do take the lead. And it's one nothing after two, Washington ahead of us. Although I'll take that one nothing in this kind in the 1890s. That's not bad. And there's a fly out. Um, you can't really seem to get anything going. Bill Krieg is up. He was on the team last year. Wasn't all that great, but you know nobody on this team was really. Ruzi is up at the plate, and he's going to, they dropped it. Nice. So he's safe at second on an air by the outfield, and Bid McPhee is up, and uh, no. So we're still losing one nothing. There's a fly out. Ducky J. Holmes. 
Looks like he'll ground out if the first baseman makes the play. He does. And the first, I want to add, our first baseman is Roger Connor, and he is a Hall of Famer, but he is a terrible first baseman. He dropped so many balls last year that were thrown to him. So many errors by that guy. Billy Klingman up at the plate, and Billy Klingman threads the needle and gets on. And he's a 60. Let's see if he can steal. Oh, he's going. And he's safe. And they threw the ball away, so he's moving to third. All right, good. Roger Connor. All I need is a fly ball, Roger. Okay, not that kind. I'm going to say yes. Probably shouldn't, and I shouldn't have. But we, you know, you got to be aggressive with a terrible team. But that probably wouldn't have scored him either, and then the next guy would have had to get a base hit. So I guess it's not that bad. And now they get another base hit. Let's see who the base runner is. He's a 50 speed, so we're not going to watch him. We're not going to pitch. Oh! And he still steals. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. All right, so there's one out man at third. Perry Worden up. That's going to be a fly ball, and we're going to keep him there. Nice. All right, so if you can get the third out here, it's Fred Tenney. Yeah, I almost want to walk Fred Tenney because he's a 70 contact. Um, yeah, I'm going to intentionally walk him. And then, uh, yeah, now you got Kid Gleason, who's a 60 contact. Not quite as good, but we still walk him. And now you got Bill Gray, 45 contact. That's what you want to see. And he makes the play. So we got out of the inning. Even though we did load the bases, it was a little scary there for a minute. Fielder Jones up. Fielder Jones is out. Monty Cross is up. And he, there's a sliding, nice sliding catch in the outfield. And we're going to be out of the inning. So that's it for us in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. one nothing still Senators. Another base hit. He gives up a lot of base hits, but... Um, we, and there was an error on the outfielder on top of it. Uh, but we don't seem to... Okay. No, not okay. There was an error, so now we got two runners on, no outs. Shallow fly, and they can't advance. Now we need another no, need a double play, and we're not going to get that because the guy stole second, and that is going to hold him. And now he's safe. God, so the fielding the, this team is terrible at fielding. But they get another run, so it's 2 nothing. If we can get the out here, that's the inning. No, no, he hits it in the gap. And it's going to be a triple. So, 4 nothing. And right down the first baseline, and Connor makes the play. But we're down 4 nothing now after 5. Which, uh, you know, you don't want to say you're out of it because this is 1890s baseball. But with the way we've been hitting, I, I don't like our chances. Uh, Amos Ruzi is up with Krieg at first. I'm going to bunt, even though I probably shouldn't. You got a bad runner at first, and the pitcher bunting the ball, and that's a double play. 
They doubled him off. Man, I mean, how much bad luck can you have? I know this is a bad team, but... So the Senator's still ahead 4 nothing, and we got a full count on this guy. And he hits it instead. Should have just taken the walk. So another full count on the next guy, and then he does walk in. All right, so that was an out. They gunned him out at second trying to steal. And then he struck out the last guy. So we're still losing only 4 nothing. and that time he had a clean inning, pretty much. I mean, he didn't allow a guy on, but he got gunned out at second trying to steal. Billy Klingman hits a fly ball. That's an out. Roger Connor. Roger Connor's out. And Deacon McGuire. The Deacon is out. By the way, Roger Connor and Deacon McGuire last year complained about their playing time and where they batted in the lineup. And yet, neither one of them is doing anything here in the first game of the season. And we're going to have a guy on. Let's see. I mean, the other team is. He's a 50. We won't watch him, but of course now he'll probably steal. No, he won't, but the next guy will get a base hit. Runners at the corners, one out. And that is going to be a deep fly, or it's a deep fly over the wall for a home run. So now it's 7 nothing. Thank you. Bottom of the seventh. It's the 1890s. Let's see. I might as well just let him keep going the entire game. We're not going to win this game. <clears throat> as you can see down here, he's still not really gassed yet. So we might as well let him try to get through the game. No sense in going to my bullpen, because I don't see us coming back from seven down. But you never know. Fielder Jones leading off for us, and he's out. Monty Cross is going to hit a deep fly. No, it's not even a deep fly. It's a shallow fly. And uh, Charlie Abbey. He was on the team last year, and he's out. So, bottom of the eighth, we'll just bat in the ninth and not get seven runs, and then that'll be the game. But um, at least, whoa, nice misplay there. Kid Gleason is aboard. I'm going to pitch out, see if he'll if he's going. Nothing like a pitcher with speed. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, Kid Gleese isn't, isn't the pitcher. Uh, so, anyway. Um, what are we doing there? All right, that was a walk, so. And, of course, there's going to be another run, maybe two. So, Ruzi having a bad first uh, game. He pitched, he generally pitched better than this. I mean, and I, and I don't know if all seven are earned, probably, or eight are earned. They probably aren't, but a good number of them are. So it's nine nothing. And he throws on to to get the guy there. There's two outs, two down. That's going to fall for a hit, knocking another one or two runs. 11 nothing. Yeah, an error on the shortstop. And I was told by the scouting director that his defensive fielding went down, so that's not good for us. I mean, none of this is really good. 
this is this has been a terrible game. We haven't been able to hit. We haven't been able to get on base a lot. So, and we and we're making errors in the field, and the pitching is terrible. So, if this uh, situation stays, you're going to see me not be in the future. I'm going to be doing a future telecast as the manager of some other team. Uh, yeah, now he's starting to get into the yellow. But he should still make it through the game because there's two outs and he will. Because he just whipped the last guy of the inning. But we're only down 13 nothing. So let's see what happens there. Bill Krieg is up. The Krieg. He's going to fly out. Amos Ruzi, we're going to pinch hit for him. I'm not even going to get anybody up because I know I'm not coming back. Let's go with somebody who's a vet, and that's Barry McCormick. Barry McCormick was on the team last year. I don't want to pinch hit any of the young guys that we just drafted, you know. I want to put them in. I'm trying to bring them along slowly, as I probably should. If you're a veteran of Out of the Park, let me know if that's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, because I'm pretty sure it is. Bid McPhee flying out. So that's it. And there you go. We're shut out 13 nothing in our first game. There's the box score. Um let's see. We had yeah, we had one hit. What we got one hit off of Clark Griffith. Come on. And Ruzi gave up uh, eight earned runs. All right, so he has a nine ERA. Eight of the 13 were earned because of all the errors we made. So there we are. We're 0-1. Let's go to my manager's office. Um, yeah, there we go. Our, our owner is worried at the moment. If you're worried, go get me some good players. I mean, come on. So, and then we look at my history, managerial history, and you can see we've started the second season. Um, my salary is a hundred bucks, but probably in 1896, that wasn't bad. Um, 0 and 1, yeah. Batting average, 036, and a 9 ERA. You're not gonna really win a lot of games with those statistics. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're going to finish up today, but that's probably um, standings. Yeah, 0-1. Stay tuned for some games from the future. Again, um, somewhere down the line. Again, I may be on another managing another team, but at the time, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, but that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.